this is a very special Ford GT we'll just uh, look at the GT first and then we'll talk about what makes this a special edition model so you have the uh, stock headlights these are incredibly looking headlights and I love the GT logo on them so this new GT is very very wide and it is much longer than the 2005 model you have a large air intake in the front that feeds air directly to the radiator and all the warm air from the radiator just comes out through those vents and of course it's channeled uh, uh, through those uh, you know tunnels that are in the bonnet just like it does in the few Ferrari models as well now this edition also has carbon fiber wheels you can find them on the studio series i've seen them on the carbon series as well and other limited edition models now coming to the side this is where the ford gt really shines because its aerodynamic system is incredible so you have radiators on the side just like you have on say a lamborghini aventador but through the body air is allowed to pass through you have these tunnels that go all the way back and uh, you have a wing that of course provides additional downforce uh, on the, that's on the body then you have the rear wing as well uh, that's retractable so this tunnel is really long and it comes out just next to this uh, tail light the tail lights themselves are also very beautiful circular design hollow from the center to allow m more ventilation and uh, it's even the the fitting of the tail lights is also very impressive in the middle of the rear you have two exhaust pipes so you have two tunnels on either side and uh, we have a really large diffuser which is of course uninterrupted because the exhaust pipes are coming out of from directly from the body the retractable wing could have been a little wider but uh, i guess ford didn't uh, see it necessary engine in this is a 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost v6 engine uh, which makes 650 horsepower honestly that's a little less for today's standard i mean the shelby mustang makes a lot lot more than that but still, the uh, Ford GT is absolutely incredible. So this car's decals and uh, the paint scheme is uh, exactly like one of the racing cars that won Le Mans in the 1960s. And it has matching interior details as well. You can see number five on the door, uh, carbon fiber seats. You have this special pattern on the seats as well. A few places here and there will also have the matching gold uh, accents as well. Like you can see it here on inside the air conditioning grill you have a special logo for the G uh, gt there on the dash as well so overall yeah there you have minor changes in the interior but of course the uh, the exterior is what is the most eye-catching thing about this car so the colors are really nice i like them not my favorite color scheme of the limited editions but i really like this so i've seen the uh, gulf livery edition as well uh, that's also very very nice you can find uh, you can find uh, more videos of four gts by just going into the video description you find the names and links there for mustang for gt videos and a whole lot of other videos so this showroom i mean is called exotic cars obviously and uh, they have cars like this lamborghini cyan they have a pin and farina uh, sergio by ferrari that is a one of six model uh, do check out that video as well the Cyan is also fully uh, carbon fiber. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. This is the, the Sergio and you have a Bugatti Devo. Again, this one is also uh, exposed blue carbon fiber. Absolutely gorgeous. I got a chance to sit in this as well. And of course, they also have one of my all time favorite cars, the Ferrari F50. So check out its video mm -hmm. as well. Now, coming to the front, you can see that it has the same aerodynamic feature, uh, just like the Ford GT, air intake in the front, vents in the bonnet to, uh, you know, for ventilating the, uh, the radiator. So that's uh, what you have in this particular showroom as only. So uh, I go to a lot of showrooms, have seen a lot of cars. Uh, have a look at my channel. You can find videos of the Pagani Huayra Roadster, this uh, McLaren Senna. Uh, SF90 Stradales, these Ferraris, uh, 918s in the back as well. So you'll find a lot of videos on my channel and let me know in the comments what do you think about this particular car. It's not clear how many uh, uh, units of these uh, additions were made but in total 1,354 GTs were made.